So hi guys and welcome back. What we have here today is something really special, which is the new board cam by Team Black Sheep. This is the DPS, the Team Black Sheep Zero Zero board cam. Uh, here you can see the basic connectors. The important features or facts of this board cam are it's a 650 DVL CCD cam. It is based on the quite famous Superhead 2 sensor by Sony. And what makes this special is that it's uh, built around a new chipset. So the usual CCD cameras, which you know, are all based on the NXP2040 uh, chipset. But this is based on a newer chipset. So what does this mean? What they promise uh, the customers based on this new chipset is lower latency, which is also somehow connected to the name of this camera, the Zero Zero, uh, and better image adjustment. So these are of course very nice features. Uh, one more special feature of this camera that is that it is water resistant. And that basically means that the PDP, which you can see inside here, is coated by silicon, which makes it water resistant. The lens itself is a 2.8 mm lens, which is quite common and quite often used. What we will do here today is we will do a real quick bench review, just the size, weight and so on. And then we will go to the real interesting fact, which is not that this black sheep is actually white here, but rather the latency. We will do latency tests because what they promise, what Team Black Sheep promises with this camera is that it provides zero latency. What does that mean? Zero latency is a quite technical term and basically means it's less than one millisecond latency. And Team Black Sheep promises to have less than one millisecond of latency with Team Blackship gear. So if you use a Team Blackship camera, of course, and a Team Blackship LCD display, because we all know the LCD display and the camera is where the latency comes from. So first a quick unboxing review, and then we go straight to the latency tests. Okay, so we, we start the quick unboxing review by uh, measuring the size of it. So let's see what we have here. So this comes at a width of about uh, 26 millimeters times 26 millimeters and the length of it is about 31 millimeters. So, and including this connector, let's also check this out. This is often re relevant, we are at 30 three millimeters. For the weight of it, let's do a quick check. So the weight of it is 12 grams, including the lens cap. Let's take this off, it shouldn't change much because this is probably not more than one gram. Yeah, we are still at 12 grams without the lens cap. And now that we did these uh, first measurements, we will straight go do the latency tests, which is the real interesting part. So everybody who knows my channel knows how I do these latency tests. For all others, I will explain it real quick. So for doing the latency tests, uh, we have these components here. Basically, we have our uh, DBS00 connected to a regular uh, uh, video transmitter here. So for this latency test, I do include the video transmission. We figured out in previous videos that this video transmission is actually already zero delay, so less than one millisecond. So I could in theory just connect the camera to the display directly and it wouldn't make a difference, but I really want to avoid any discussions. So we include the video transmission here as well. So we have the camera here connected to the video transmitter. We have here a video receiver. 
that's one of the cheap RC uh, 305 receivers that these two components do not make any difference because these are zero latency and what we have here this is important this is an LCD module from the DBS ground station because as I said before DBS only guarantees zero latency for DBS components and this uh, includes the camera of course and the LCD module and what we will basically do is uh, we will record this tablet where we have a millisecond counter with the camera and we will on the uh, other hand here see the recorded image with this millisecond values and once we stop the video we will see if these two numbers are the same or not if they are the same then yes this is zero latency of course there is always a bit of a latency due to the light speed but uh, we should not notice this here okay so this is the test setup and I would say well let's go straight to the test now and take a look Okay guys, so well, huh, as you just saw in the video, this was really nice. It was really zero latency. So the numbers matched up on both displays, which basically means, yes, there is zero latency. Of course, there's always some variance involved, but well, at least with the preciseness, uh, which my equipment here allows me to measure that, that was really zero latency. So I can say this is a great achievement by Team Blackship. This seems to be a really, really nice new camera. Of course, latency is not everything. We will test this in flight in a follow-up video. But well, yeah, this is a great zero latency camera. So congratulations Team Blackship here. This is something really nice. I really liked uh, to test this. I'm looking forward to do more tests in the future. If you like this as well, well, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And well, I will see you back for further tests of the TPS 00.